back um, because I think there's another powerful way that people can push back against this. Everyone who supports cutting the deficit, and this includes the deficit doves, okay? This includes progressives who yield ground to the conservative fiscal hawks like the David Walkers and the Pete Petersons. If you say that you support cutting the government's deficit, you are by definition saying that you support cutting the non-government surplus because the government's deficit is equal always and everywhere to the penny to the non-government surplus. This is simply a matter of double entry accounting. Right? If the government spends 10 and collects 9 in taxes, the extra one ended up somewhere. And it ends up in the non-government. And I don't think that very many progressives would stand up and advocate cutting the non-government sector's surplus. But every time they stand up and advocate cutting the deficit, they're exactly arguing for cutting the non-government surplus. So the government running those huge deficits is what has allowed the non-government sector, and in particular the private sector, to build up the surplus that has helped achieve that deleveraging. It's allowing the private sector to pay down debts because they're accumulating net financial assets as a result of the government's deficit spending. 